My closet constantly looks like the messy parts of a Sofia Coppola film. <laughs> absolutely insane so I'm gonna be putting it up but I wanted to finally film a vlog and film it in its entirety and put it up because we went from having two vlogs every week of January to two vlogs total in February. February actually ended up being a really great month for me it was just like it flew by in a blink of an eye. I traveled so already traveling just messes with your girl's routine because I am such a routine driven person. Thank you Chester thank you for um whispering barking at someone. I had a great month though, so I'm happy that it's not chaotic and I'm actually really excited that it's March. I used to get really, really sad during the springtime and honestly like the whole first half of the year because I felt like there was nothing to look forward to until fall, but I actually have been growing to love spring. So I walked Chester, took care of him this morning. I'm about to work out, which is why I look a hot mess, but I figured I'd take you along for a girly day in my life prepping for spring. If you're new here, I make girly glam, slightly ratchet content here online. I'm known as like a hyper femme girly on TikTok, Instagram, etc. So definitely follow me across socials. And if you're new here, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and turn on the post notification bell. So that way when I start posting regularly again this month, you won't miss a thing. And this week in particular, I'm gonna be posting on different days. I'm gonna try out Wednesday, Saturday, as opposed to Monday, Thursday. So let me know if this is a better schedule but Chester's yelling at us so I think it's time for us to start our day because he is my lieutenant he's my patrol officer and he's my bodyguard he's a hard-working individual isn't that right Bubba do you have anything you'd like to tell them about your your job you don't like slackers so let's get into this girly day I also I want to show you guys this jacket I got from Amazon because it is so cute ignore the nips but this is like the perfect shade of baby pink but it has these side zippers which I don't really know why you would use it unless you have like a credit card or something really thin you want to put in. It's called Crazy Yoga. That's the brand. But it's super cozy. Possibly a slightly better view of my jacket. I'm about to go run some errands during my work day, so I got a lot of work done this morning. I'm actually kind of ahead of schedule, so I'm happy about that. But I realized I didn't give you guys the most pertinent update because I keep vlogging and then not posting the vlog. Look who got a new tattoo. She's looking a little crusty because she's in the peeling phase now, <laughs> um, but about a week ago, a little over a week ago, I finally got my second tattoo. I've been thinking about getting this for a long time, so I'm really happy to now have angel numbers. It'll look way cuter once it's not peeling. Very happy and I'm happy I can finally show you guys this. It had been wrapped for the last week so I finally took the little like second skin wrap off and now I think they said about a week for it to peel but I'm so happy with it and I can't wait to get more tattoos. Now I'm gonna go to the stores and I'm gonna take you guys along with me. I'm gonna see if I can find some spring things but it is a little gloomy today so it's not really giving spring but maybe we can find some items that'll make our day a little brighter. <music> Hi loves! I quite literally did not vlog in the stores because <laughs> I thought going out in the middle of a Monday there would be nobody at the stores, it would be peaceful, I would get things done. No, okay. Home goods, all the middle-aged white women were out and they were taking their time. They also were chatting loudly on their phones. Like there was at least five women separate having their own little conversations but like yelling 
into their phones while shopping for home decor. And Ulta wasn't as busy, but there were some sketchy people outside of Ulta. And then Trader Joe's, it was all the old people getting their groceries. So again, slow. So all of that to say, I didn't vlog because by the end of it, I was just like, I need to get back home. But I am going to show you guys what I got. Also, sorry, my hair has been so bad because I started like getting my curls back. But I don't really want to heat style my hair until my next blowout. So I'm kind of just hoping that works. But your girl did treat herself to some goodies. Start with Ulta. Um, I don't know if I showed you guys in any B-roll footage, but this is not from Ulta. I got this tote bag that I ordered off of Instagram, actually. I'll try to remember what the shop was because it's a store or a brand that I follow with small business. But it says Passenger Princess. It's the cutest tote, but I actually really like taking this tote with me as a reusable tote bag, specifically when I go to Target. Um, and then I use Trader Joe's bags for when I go get groceries. I did do that, but I'm not calling my groceries. I already put those away. But um, all that to say, I actually really like this tote bag. So I recommend it even if you're not gonna use it for groceries, but it's big enough that it's nice for like little mini runs. So I just have a few things in here from Ulta. I got this for Sam, it's not even for me. This is a brand, a hair brand called Lola V. I've literally never heard of it, but um, Sam uses shampoo and conditioner that I got him from the brand Habit that they sell at Target. Habit, or whatever it's called, was originally recommended for men. But then I started seeing reviews in the last couple of weeks where it was like guys saying that they had hair loss because of those products. So I just got him a travel size of this brand because I want him to try out stuff before purchasing the expensive products. And then I got myself a Sol de Janeiro scent. I used to never use this brand and avoid this brand because they have a lot of like nut scented things. I'm allergic to nuts, highly allergic. But I didn't realize they don't actually put the nuts in their products, especially at least their sprays. I can't say the same about their lotions, but their sprays don't. So I smelled this. And it smelled delicious. This is not the original scent. I almost got the original scent. If you like sweet scents, if you like vanilla, this is that girl. Because you know what it smells exactly like? Boom. Philosophy Fresh Cream. So lovely. It's like a caramel macadamia scent, I think is what it was described as. I got another Brighten Up powder just because mine is broken and almost gone. So I wanted to get this from Ulta. And then yes, I did get Fresh Cream by Philosophy, the warm cashmere one, because that was the only one that they had. Okay, but let's talk about home goods. I got a lot of spring things. I got this for the little jailbird who's being a rebel right now and crying. Then I got this, which is super random. It's not really springy. They're just tiny little white ceramic bowls. I love these freaking things. I already have two of these. One is a pastel yellow and one is a pastel blue, but they're like little fake ceramic ice cream cones and they make they just hold the perfect amount of ice cream. They're $5 each. And I got my other two last year and I saw they had new colors. So I had to get a pastel pink one because it's the perfect shade of pink. And Sam uses a blue one and this is cracked. So I got him a blue. This is still pastel, but it's a different, it's like more vibrant than the other one that I have. I got an $8 faux grass textured bunny rabbit. I had to get her, she's coquette already. This is very random, but I got a wood cleaner. Then, I got some candle stands. I actually have one pink one that is probably from the same line and exactly like this up above me um, that I've had for like two years now. I love a good little candle stand just cause I think they're so cute. So I liked the yellow cause it was pastel and I did get another pink one. I just think it makes your candles look so much more aesthetic. Very last minute purchase because it was in the aisle right before you check out. Um, but I got a little egg <laughs> that's sparkly, it has pearls, and it has a bow. And I just thought this is the most coquette item ever. I want to slowly start getting more greenery for Sam and I's house. I don't know. I feel like greenery is a little overpriced for something that's not real. It has beautiful white flowers, but I liked this because the base was simple and black and I felt like that goes with the simplicity of the home. Um, and also, I really like the fake mud, like the mulch, it looks so good. And the last thing I got, I'll show you, actually I'll bring it over. This is the last thing I purchased. It's a new wreath for our front door, so I'm happy because wreaths are also really expensive, so I decided just to splurge because once you get it, you can reuse it every year. So this was 40 bucks, which to me is also crazy. Um, but it has cute little Easter eggs, and again, we can reuse it. So now I just need to get a Christmas wreath. How cute is she? Mm -hmm. 
my closet constantly looks like the messy parts of a Sofia Coppola film. I just finished filming content, so I'm back in my cozy clothes. Shout out to Sam's sister for getting me the best sweatshirt ever for my birthday. Back in the little boots and their booties. I'm also like really happy about my makeup because I used this little bomb stick by a brand called Kai Beauty. You can get this from Amazon. Um, I'm actually working with them, but their stuff is actually really it's a K-Beauty skincare balm, and I didn't even use setting spray, and I didn't cake up underneath my makeup. Kinda love it. My hair has definitely seen better days, so we're gonna style her tonight, but I also still need to prep my closet for spring. So I started opening up some PR, I worked on content, which is why there's a mess and a half. There's always some wig laying around in my closet. I want to change the stuff that's on display so that it's more springtime, so I'm gonna clean first, and then we are going to change out the fall clothes and give us some more color. I'm gonna be playing this in the background. Obviously you guys won't hear it because I'm gonna fast forward, but if you like true crime podcast and great storytelling, I recently found Rotten Mango on YouTube and I've been binging from the beginning all of their podcast episodes. This girl is amazing at telling a story. I didn't realize how many dresses I had, especially white dresses, until I had to start literally shoving them on this rack. I almost feel like I just went shopping, changing my closet, but now it's giving more girly vibe. I'm also getting antsy again about changing up my entire closet like I always do every freaking year. So let me know if you guys have ideas on different pieces that I should incorporate into my closet furniture wise because she's not giving, she's not giving yet. aesthetic and then Sam's panda blanket. I'm gonna start winding down for the night. I might watch an Audrey Hepburn film um, and then take off my makeup after I finish editing and organizing for tomorrow. Before I end today's vlog though, we need to talk about a terrible angle for my under chin. I am very excited to be working with Trova Trip who puts together international and sometimes in the nation trips and I am putting together an ultimate girls trip for 2024 and I want all of my girlies including my YouTube girlies to go. Right now we are in the planning stages of this trip so I don't have exact answers of where we're going and when we're going specifically because you are deciding. I have a survey that I've had in my bio on my other socials for the past week and a half and this survey I will link down below and it will be open until the end of day Friday this week. But essentially I want all of you to fill out this survey in order to give your feedback before we make the final destination decision, the timing decision, the budget 
decision, all of that. I want this trip to be something that we all as a community make because I wouldn't even have this opportunity to put together a trip if it weren't for you. I will have more details and of course give you guys an update once the trip is open for you to sign up. But right now I'm just collecting feedback and the good thing about filling out the survey is one, it takes no longer than a minute. Two, your feedback will be incorporated, so if there's a place you really want to go, it's more likely to happen when you fill out the survey. Three, you'll be one of the first people to know when the applications, the sign up, whatever you want to call it, to sign up for the trip is open. And you want to be one of the first because you'll be able to secure your spot because spots will be limited, but you'll also get access to early bird pricing. And once I know the pricing exactly of this trip, based off of the destination and the time of year. Um, of course I'll let you know, but no matter what the pricing is, there will be payment plans in place to make this super accessible so you don't feel the pressure of having to pay everything off at once. So I'm so excited and I feel like I just needed to do a little mini shout out before we end this vlog here. So again, that survey link is in my bio. Please fill it out, share with another girly that you'd like to travel with. Because my idea here is to get the girlies together. You don't have to feel limited or alone or isolated just because you live in a small town anymore. You can meet other hyper femme girlies and just enjoy a few days together. So with that being said, I'm gonna fix my hair, take my makeup off. Um, but I hope that you guys enjoyed this vlog. It was a little normal. <laughs> it was just my routine of going shopping, doing a haul, a little bit of behind the scenes in my messy closet. But I figured it'd be nice to kind of give you this type of vlog before I get into some of the other exciting spring things I'm planning on doing this year. If there is a specific spring vlog or video that you want to see, let me know in the comments. I'm really trying to think through what my plans are for the next couple of months in terms of YouTube content. Um, and I'm still trying to make sure that I upload videos that I enjoy every single one. So that's why you got two videos last month, but let's hope for eight. Seven or eight is my goal for March. And with all that being said, I will see you in my next video. Bye loves.